Good evening, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be our trailer reaction for season three of What If, one of our favorite Marvel things. Don't tell me they don't mean something. They mean everything. And go. Oh. That ends it all. Uh-oh. Let's begin. Up for an adventure. Jeffrey Wright's always win. Always. <laughs> to understand, you must learn to see. What exactly are you proposing? It's showtime. Here we go. <laughs> are you sure you can fly this? Are you kidding? I'm a duck. I was born to fly. Strap it. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's a perfect pairing, too. Oh, move over. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Dormammu. If we all go down, oh, one we'll with all the be left <laughs> This is the shot we have. We may not get another one. Q Max. Oh, we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Avenger, assemble. Avenger, it's. Oh, it's Voltron. They're gonna. It's not just Mex, it's both Voltron. Light him up now! The arc? Yeah, that's what it looked like. This is where the old story ends. Uh oh. Some mysteries, the only answer is what if. Wait, wait, I've seen this, so wait, wait. Maybe it's time that we called in some help. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. S yes, Storm is worthy for Mir Mir. One hundred percent. Yes, she's she's worthy of Mir Mir. Coo. <laughs> Lovely shows. Uh, uh, we have talked about in the past how um, we're not directly connected to the comics, although we've learned a lot about the comics as we've gone along through the MCU journey and stuff like that, but. We come from this point of what the MCU is presented in front of us. So coming back and doing these what if stories and how they're inter they're introducing concepts that maybe the TV people, their com the non comic people can be a much more approachable with. By using what if. Right. Like I think we talked about the first season um, kind of helping to build the whole multiverse thing yeah so that when you was that the first season or second yeah, first season? season okay so that when you went to like multiverse of madness you had a better understanding of of what that all meant and yeah. what was going on and then um and then stuff that happened in season two was it season two that was directly in the movies yeah that Everybody's like, it doesn't matter. Oh, it matters. Yeah, what if matters? Like the because they're introducing these like deep concepts of the weird part of comics. To start talking about the cosmic stuff, the multiverse stuff. It, there's there, there's a period of adjustment to have that conversation. So a lot of people who didn't do what if or aren't used to the comics have struggled with the uh, with everything that goes on around. Uh, what they did with the multiverse saga. Right. We personally have really enjoyed the multiverse saga because we were able to get a lot of team ups that we normally wouldn't have gotten if we hadn't had that thing, which is what What If gives us. Right. It opens the door to that and makes it more, like you said, approachable, more, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> more feasible. And it's, I mean, comics do it all the time yeah. you have you know zombie avengers and and you know they have these one-off runs where they do 
all this weird stuff. So why not? I uh, I I did the five part. Uh, uh, what if Miles Morales was dot dot dot, and it was what if he was Hulk? What if he was Captain America? What if he was Thor? What if he's like? And it was like it was this overall overall arching story with each of these different versions of what Miles could have been if he had been in some other, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Earth 42. Um, uh, but with this, um, when they introduced it, they were like, oh, these are each individual stories. And then all of a sudden they all came together, coalesced with the final two episodes being, oh, wait, the Watcher has been manipulating and putting all yeah. this, all these pieces together yep. and this thing. And yep. I, I really, really appreciated that. Now with this... Um, we're getting Voltron. We're getting Avenger Ultron. Max, we're getting Max. <laughs> Five little pieces come together to make one big piece. What, that's, just, that's so amazing. Um, I'm really excited about what they're going to do with Shang-Chi and Kate Bishop in the Old West. Yeah. Because their team up just doesn't make any sense. And in the Old West doesn't make any sense, but it's going to be hilarious for us just because right. I, we love those two characters right um what we're going to get with red guardian and bucky working together is going to directly tie into what we're going to get in thunderbolts and their interactions with each other they've already presented that in the trailer that was that was the post credit scene for season two was them on the road together so that i find that very interesting um you, you Corey? Uh, the Native American that they introduced, yeah. who is not a member of, not in the comics, is a brand new creation. Yeah. Having her come back, I I just ordered her number one comic. I'm really excited about what they're going to do with that for her, her run. But having her there and having Storm show up, the naturalistic kind of storytelling with the two of you know the yep. two of them. And- yep, that I was going to say that that it was um, awesome to have this to introduce her, um, and you know it would be. I mean they don't necessarily need to do what if but i would like to see them continue these little um shorts like a season of shorts yeah where they can introduce new characters whether new new like like she is or just kind of random characters that nobody really you know star lord you know but but that they don't have enough or really want to flesh out into a whole movie yeah. i would love to see some of those um, stories lucasfilm is doing that with uh, tales of the jedi they're going telling little 15 minute stories yeah. about count dooku and and uh, uh balen skull and ahsoka like not because ahsoka didn't have a storytelling as it is but but it, <laughs> but it was these 15 little short little uh vignettes to kind of yeah. add more story to each of these yeah, characters a little filler. Yeah. Uh, and i think what if was a wild swing and it ended up being popular and so they're doing three seasons i love this animation style it's a fairly quick animation style to do so i would like that they kept this animation style and did the tales of the marvel universe kind of yeah, thing yeah yeah um, would be awesome i would i would really like that to maybe fill in some how did steve put all the stones back how did you know <laughs> uh what what is the conversation between tony and pepper in 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 about Morgan and yeah you know, what what happened with Shang Chi in between the time he left his dad and he became a ballet yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so so yeah so having those conversations I think would be a lot of fun but I am super excited now the one thing I haven't looked up is if they're doing week to week like they did last time right I I, I no they I, did daily last time oh daily daily that's right daily last time which was cool to come home and watch an episode but um i'm okay if they just drop it all on the 22nd we can watch all eight episodes they're not going to be more than 20 or 25 minutes a piece the finale might be 35 yeah so be easy a really quick easy binge yeah i don't i mean i I don't care i don't have an opinion either way it was fine 
the way that they did it last time, but I definitely want to go rewatch the first two seasons. I, we can go before. do that right now. I'm totally down. <laughs> so let us know what you thought of our reaction to uh, Marvel Animation's What If is the official title, season three. Uh, in the comments down below, please be nice. There's a requirement around here. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Please do that. It helps us out a ton. It means nothing to you, and it, it it's the world for us. And all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, what if I didn't say good afternoon, good evening, and good night?